All right, a recommended video for you to see, automotive guys. You want to mo know more about superheat, subcooling, refrigerant saturation. Here's an excellent video by AC Service Tech LLC. So how to measure the refrigerant. let me uh, go back so you can see where to go. This is the title, 410 Refrigerant Charge Measurement Examples on Air Conditioners, Total Superheat Method Practice. Just one of many different things. So go to... AC Service Tech, go to his channel, subscribe. Highly recommend this. If you're an automotive technician and if you even think you want to try a different trade that is similar of being a mechanic on a car, but more fun, get around, get more money, have overtime, this is the place for you to go. Commercial refrigeration, industrial refrigeration, uh, maybe residential might be your thing. Everybody finds their different click in a different area so ac service tech go down here go to videos you'll see his latest video right here and uh hit his channel teach yourself a little more uh you'll understand why in automotive they don't teach a lot of stuff in automotive and unfortunately in, in your high school classes only if you had a good teacher were you taught some of this stuff uh, other than that they kind of like skip over the air conditioning part in most automotive schools unfortunately and then later on if you went to a uh, college in automotive uh, training school and you get your as or bs or whatever in a college uh, they go over it don't always do the best job but they do pretty good only if you go to commercial or industrial refrigeration uh, accredited programs that are two and a half years they get really in depth and this is an example so i hope this helps some of you Go over to Craig's channel, AC Service Tech LLC, and subscribe. Spend the next six months watching his videos and pick yourself up to the next level of understanding air conditioning. And then apply some of this towards cars. They're similar. They're not exactly the same. There's things done on cars that this does not apply to. He doesn't tell, he can't tell you everything in here. The same with residential and commercials. There's VRF systems, variable systems, where you do not use superheat and subcooling like this because the way the system is ran, automobiles are the same way. Variable displacement compressors, you cannot use this method reliably, especially when they have internal heat exchangers and they're using sensors like sun load sensors to change the refrigerant pressures, change the compressor RPMs or their pulsating fans constantly up and down. This method will not work in those scenarios. All right, I'll see you guys.